Hey guys, Thunder E here, and as you know, I'm at Apple Park, and they are brand new iPhones. Now there's the new iPhone 15 series, and the regular iPhone 15 looks absolutely gorgeous with tons of different colors, but honestly, I think the iPhone 15 Pro line is the iPhone for anyone to pick up. Now, let's start off with five key features I think make it really important. And that's of course the action button. That's the very first thing that's new on the iPhone 15 Pro series. And I think a lot of people don't like the fact that you have a button that you can of course use to silence your iPhone, like the former silent switcher, but it's a remappable button that allows you to customize with shortcuts. You can also act activate things like your camera, go in, take selfies, all that fun stuff. And it's easy in the settings to go ahead, change it and set it to whatever you want it to do with that action button. Now, next up is USB Type-C. This is something we've been waiting for on the iPhone, and it's finally here. Yes, the iPhone 15 series has USB Type-C, but the 15 Pro line does have USB Type-C 3.0, giving you faster uh, transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, and also faster um, charging speeds as well, which means you can transfer your content like ProRes video and photos faster from your iPhone to your MacBook. Now, we can't forget the fact that the iPhone 15 uh, Pro Series comes in titanium. It, it looks absolutely gorgeous and also feels really comfortable and light. That's a really key thing about it. When you hold the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max in your hand, no longer does it feel heavy and weighted. It feels comfortable, durable, but also light at the same time. I love this material choice for Apple. I think it does a really good job explaining how you're getting a more premium device and also a premium feel and better build quality overall. Now let's talk about cameras. The iPhone 15 Pro Max cameras and the iPhone 15 Pro set a new standard for cameras on the iPhone line. And this year we have got, yes, periscopic zoom. With the iPhone 15 Pro doing 3X, uh, with the 3X title photo, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max does 5X, which means, of course, you've got 5X, of course, regular telephoto zoom, and then it goes up to 25X on the Pro Max and 15X on the iPhone 15 Pro. This gives you a whole new dynamic when you're uh, shooting photos, videos plus it also gives you the proper focal lengths 24 35 so on and so forth while you're shooting giving you a better experience overall and I think a lot of videographers photo photographers as well as just everyone in general is going to love this feature and you guys know I had to talk about gaming the iPhone 15 Pro line is the next step in gaming for anyone in the iPhone ecosystem you've got the a17 bionic chipset with the G Pro GPU on there that is 20% faster but the performance is something you have to see Apple talked about the fact that you'll be able to play Resident Evil 4 yes that Resident Evil for on your iPhone as well as Resident Evil Village and the brand new um, Assassin's Creed. But just playing a game like Diablo Immortal and looking at the hardware ray tracing on there looked absolutely impressive and I can't wait to sit down and do some gaming videos for you on this device. So honestly, the iPhone 15 packs a ton of features that are great, but the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are the two devices that I think everyone will want to pick up. Pricing starts at, of course, $999 for iPhone 15 Pro and then $1,199 for the Pro Max. And the Pro Max starts at 256 gigabytes. So what do you think about the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max? Are those are the devices for you? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. Now I gotta run.